We all know this one, but we don't all respect it. Anything that comes in contact with the marine tank is going to leave something in the tank. This includes everything on your hands and arms, fragrances, soaps, lotions, petroleum products, or anything that you've been doing or handling recently. Weeding or fertilizing the garden, oil change on the mower, sanitizing the tub, emptying the dishwasher, cleaning the windows, the list is endless. The challenge is there's no test kit for these things. ICP doesn't tell you about the soap or weed killer or lotion, at least not directly. Best practice is wear arm link gloves. Disposable veterinary gloves, a good option. And avoid introduction altogether. If not that, then do your best to clean your hands and arms before they go in the tank and let it be as infrequent as possible. Alternatively, the proactive option that just kind of owns that hands will be going in the tank is the use of a few bucks of carbon, which is effective on many of these organic contaminants. Outside of that, and not surprising, I'm sure, water changes the dilutive force that makes sure what are nearly inevitable missteps for many reefers just don't build up in the tank and the pollutants are eventually exported rather than building. Aerosolized pollution and gases are a bit more complex. Anything in the air will be introduced to the tank through surface turnover on the top of the tank as well as through the skimmer, sucking that air in and whisking it together with the tank. Most reefers know not to use something like Windex or 409 on or around the tank, but that has to be communicated to the entire household. However, I also avoid home air fresheners or really anything that sprays chemical particles into the air and distributed throughout the house via the HVAC system. Some reefers draw the air from outside the house for their skimmer. If you do that, make sure to never spray lawn or garden products near that input or leave the lawnmower running near the intake or put the skimmer intake near a laundry exhaust. A small amount of activated carbon, a good backup for when missteps are made, water changes that dilutive force that avoids all but the most gross ongoing missteps. The one air pollutant that most reefers are aware of, but the hobby really hasn't embraced solving yet, is carbon dioxide poisoning. Most homes tend to build up excess toxic carbon dioxide from people and pets breathing. Most, however, don't consider CO2 to be a pollutant in their homes or tanks, but when the high CO2 gets into the tank, it creates carbonic acid, which prevents the corals from calcifying properly, inhibits growth, creates porous, brittle skeleton, and stresses the animals. That combo certainly meets the pollutionary standard of a substance that has harmful or poisonous effects. If your pH is commonly below eight, this is likely you. Best way is to open up the windows for a few hours, let some fresh air in and see what the effect is on your pH. You might be surprised by how much it goes up. If that's not realistic based on the season, throw a CO2 scrubber on your skimmer's air intake line and you'll be clear within hours if this is a problem we're solving. We've done Beers TV Investigates on the effects of low pH with dramatic growth and health differences, and there are countless studies we'll explore in a full pH episode. But we want to share it here as well because it may open up some thought processes as we consider how gases like CO2 in the room find their way into the tank and affect the health of the animals. The highlight of that video is an air exchanger on your home as a solution. Maybe a number of plants in the home will reduce CO2 in the air. Lower surface turnover and a skimmer that draws air from outside or from a CO2 scrubber and reducing less and maybe even pulling CO2 out of the tank. Two-part and Kelquas are soaking up excess CO2 up, and my favorite because it's the simplest, cheapest, and least invasive, a healthy refugium will soak up the excess CO2 as well. We'll have a 52 SC episode on refugiums and pH as well. Next pollutive challenge, old gear, rust, exploding magnets, and the like. What to do about all that?